Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another card making video using little critters. Today I'm playing with this adorable stamp set which is called Cool Cats. This is from the latest release by My Favorite Things. And I will start by stamping the cat, a few of uh, the clouds as well as the moon with the fish that are hanging from it. I am stamping everything with black, extreme black ink by my favorite things, which is alcohol marker friendly. And I will use my alcohol markers to add some color on all the images. The coloring I'm doing is always uh, quick and simple. I'm just using my triplet markers that have all three shades in one barrel. I'm switching from one shade to another until I'm happy with the coloring. For the cut I did grab a very fine tip marker and I'm drawing some lines. This is going to allow for some areas to stay white while I cover the rest of the cut with orange. I am usually going for an orange cut since my cut is a ginger one. These images are quite small so you don't have to spend too much time coloring. The coloring again is uh, super quick and simple. I'm just going to cover up the whole area with orange and then I will add a little bit of shading on the edges so that the image doesn't appear completely flat. I did use the matching dies to cut out the images and I will link you below to those snips that I use since I got many questions about them. Now I'm using a dark navy blue cardstock and I will cut out a panel. I'm using one of my most used dies. This is a rectangle one that has a little stitching all around. I find that it always gives a nice finishing touch. And I'm also going to add a little bit of black suit distress ink coming from the top as well as around the edges. This panel is supposed to be a night sky and I want to have quite of a dark color there. So all the images that I stick on top are going to pop nicely on top of it. Also notice that this is Distress Ink, not Oxide, since I wanted to avoid that chalky finish. And just like always, when I am creating little scenes, I like to place all the pieces on top of my panel, try to decide where everything is going to go, and then I'm going to stick down all the images. For some of them, I'm going with glue so that they are going to lay flat on top of my background. For others, like the cat and one of the clouds, I am going with foam tape so that I add some dimension. I grabbed my white gel pen and I will add some white dots at the background. These are going to work as little stars, but you can definitely add some white splatters or even golden splatters to look like stars before you stick all the images on top of your panel. I used the connected alphabet die set to cut out letters so that I can spell the word hugs. I cut them out from white cardstock and you can see how lovely they pop against the dark sky. I'm also going to make sure that everything is nice and straight by using my T-ruler in a bit. And uh, uh, in the same stamp set as the cat, the moon and the clouds, there is a little sentiment that says hugs and fishes, which I thought it was uh, super cute. So instead of just stamping it as it is, I decided to use the alphabet uh, dies to have my word hugs slightly larger. And I stamped the rest of the sentiment on a thin strip of cardstock so that I can stick it underneath the word hugs. For that, I'm going to use some foam tape. Don't forget to like the video as well as hit the little bell so that you get notifications whenever I post a new video. Now it's just a matter of putting the card together. For that I decided to create layers. I'm using this uh, purple cardstock that I did ink up the edges with black suit again. And I'm going to lay one on top of the other so that I have a little bit of that purple peeking from behind. If you are wondering why I went with purple, I do have a little bit of purple at the bottom of my clouds to give them some shading and I thought it would be the perfect match. I'm also going to add some foam tape at the back of these panels and stick them on top of a pattern paper that's uh, black and white stripes. This comes from a paper pad by my favorite things. Again, I'm going to link everything down below. I use a die that cuts out lots of tiny little stars. For that I went with uh, gold cardstock and I will stick a few here and there just to add a little bit of shine. I'm also going to stick a few of those stars on the outer layers 
and this whole panel is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to stick it on a white card base, which is standard size. And here is a close-up look on the adorable card that I made for today. I'm super happy with the result. I hope that you like it and that you got inspired. You will find links down below in the description. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope you all have a lovely day.